Well guys, we're back in the cabin, in the pallet wood cabin. Just had myself some nice fajitas. Got Jax with me as well, but he's just outside at the moment running around. So we'll have a play around with him later. But I'm gonna do some unboxing because you guys have been sending some stuff to the, the PO box and there's some good stuff coming through, quite a bit. So I thought I'd do some unboxing on the camera and see what, see what we got. And this one, doesn't say he's from yet. Doo -doo. Oh wow. That's a lot of paracord. Oh man. A lot of gifts in here. So, I won't read the letters fully out guys because there's uh, some of them are quite long. This is from Gary Thomas from Lancashire. Hi Mike, I enjoy watching all your posts and videos on your YouTube channel. I find them great watching and very informative. I've sent you some gifts that I hope you find useful, including some guy rope tensioners. That, that was these. They look really neat. Keep up the good work. My, myself, like many others, enjoy watching you and your dad and look forward to the future episodes. P.S. Some treats for Jax also. Look at this. Gonna give... He's down there. <laughs> Gonna give Jax some of these. We've got some nice dog treats and things for Jax. He's a lucky boy. Obviously a big old hank of paracord. I'm not sure what this is though. What is this? Uh, it's in like a clip thing. Oh no way, it's a saw I think. It's literally like a chainsaw blade. That is awesome, yeah there's blade bits here. You guys can see that, look at that. There's like little blades on it and I'm guessing, yeah that's very sharp. 
you hold you hold that around the log or a tree and you pull either side to saw through it. It's like a chainsaw blade. That's really clever. I've never seen something like that before. I guess you can also use it with another person pulling it maybe. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Gary. It's nice when it has a letter. It's like a bit more personal. And this is fairly well wrapped. We're going to need a knife. Today's knife of choice for unboxing is the Lignum Stealer. I'm actually going to not open this just yet. This is from Phil, who says, I've been... Hi Mike, I've been a, a bushcrafter since I was a kid. That's long before it was called bushcraft. I love your channel. In a recent film, you were struggling with the limpet shell from the bow drill. This might help you out. One of my own or homegrown Yorkshire sycamore bearing blocks. I have also included one of my wide pocket straps to keep that knife razor sharp. Keep up the good work, Phil. Phil, you are a gentleman and a squire, sir. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, wow. So, oh, that's really, that's really cool. So Phil's, he's called Phil's Woods Turning. He's got an Etsy shop. And look at this sycamore bearing block. That is beautiful. Really nicely polished and finished. And there's the uh, bearing to be able to put the pressure down on the boat. In fact, I think I have my boat drill kit. Yeah, in my bag from last time. This is the fail kit from that last overnight video, which it probably won't work still because I think it is down to the wood, but I'm going to give this a go. So this is the bow drill set that... Jax, get out of there. Here, come here. This is the bow drill set that I failed at before. I personally think it's the wood. It's all really split now, actually. I don't know whether to do another hole, maybe. We will see what we can do. Do you know what? I'm just gonna, uh, I know this um, bow drill kit doesn't work, like the set doesn't, isn't good enough, but. So this is more not a bow drill test, guys, because, oh, that's soaking wet there. Leave it. So much of a bow drill test, guys. This is, because I know this kit doesn't work. This is more to test the subscriber sycamore bearing block. And yes, I am in casual jeans today, guys, not the bushcraft pants which is a first. I don't wear bushcraft pants all the time. Um, I could do with a piece of wood to kneel on. Let's get some pallet wood. No, Jax, give me that back. Hey, 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 come here. Drop, that's my bow drill kit, drop. Drop. Leave it, come on, leave it. Leave it, Jax. Good boy. Come here. Come here. You're such a monkey. Leave him for a second and he takes the... <laughs> the board. Okay, I don't expect an ember, like I say, guys. At all. Actually, I think I'm going to shorten this. Jax! Going for the ripped jeans look here. <laughs> Oh, it works, cool. The uh, the wood's definitely not right for a bow drill, but I'm just really pleased that the bearing block works. So thank you so much. Phil is also, this is amazing, a bit of paracord again, a bit of sycamore, I think. His leather strops here. That's a lovely leather strop, look at that. Strop the old lignum steeler on it. Phil, you're a legend, man. Thanks so much. From Yorkshire. Phil from Yorkshire. Good honest broadband from Yorkshire. Oh, that is brilliant. Fan dabby tastic. This is from Max Jego in in Colchester, Essex. Oh, 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 what have we got here? What have we got here? Oh, we've got a card with a bunny and a chick on it. Hi Mike, happy Easter! Sorry guys, yeah, some of the I'm a bit late on opening some of these uh these boxes. My brother Wesley Jego introduced me to your channel. Thank you so much for checking checking out his and mentioning it in your vlog. To say a little thank you, I enclose a few items that might be handy when doing your overnighters. Love that your channel is quite versatile and enjoy all the different things you do. Thanks again, Max. Oh yeah, Max, your card will go up here next to some of the other cards. I've still got a load of postcards to pin up, guys, but I forgot the pins again. So I've got all postcards. I've still got them all to put here. 
Thanks, Max. Oh, look at this. Like a spork kit. Well, not a spork kit, knife, fork, and spoon. Ooh, 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 what's these? These look cool. Oh, yes. Instant coffees, always handy. Thanks, Max. What is this? What is this? Oh, they're really nice coffee and tea mugs that say, tea tastes better in the garden and a little bit of dirt never hurt anyone. Max, that is awesome. Thanks so much, man. They're really good quality cups, these. I like the green to them, the bushcraft green. Look, it's like invisible. We appreciate it, Max. You guys are so kind. What a great group you guys are. So. Oh, these look nice. They're like a, this is cool. Let me just uh, read it quickly, guys. I might love the channel. Your videos have kept me entertained massively over the last year. I was super happy when you did the collab with Alex Steele. He is brilliant. It was an awesome collab. I really enjoyed it. I'm sending these handmade oilskin bags that I make and sell on the side of my day job. I'm a survival equipment fitter in the Royal Air Force. We service flying, clo we service flying clothing and gear to aid survival. Maybe that's why I love the bushcraft video so much. Hope you, hope your dad and Jacks are well. Enjoy the bags. All the best, Max. Another Max. This is cool. So it's like a. Oh, look at that. It's got like a Burberry type inside. That's really well made. That's really well made. That's got some quality. So original world order. And there's another one here. So this one's like um, a dry sack thing where you can roll it round and clip it shut, but it's like oil skin is such a lovely quality. I really like that. With paracord as well. And then, oh, look at the, that's awesome little clip there. I've never seen one like that. And another really nice, could almost use that as like a possible pouch or a coffee pouch or something like that. That's super kind. Thank you so much, Max. Okay, on to the next one. Is there a message with this? Little tin of fruity frogs. Little tin of fruity frogs. What am I going to be opening in here? Has someone sent me something, Dodge. Oh! They're like Harry Bows. I want to have one now! Nice Jack. Are oh, you still running around out there? Chewing sticks. Mmm! Oh, it's a nice thin one. Wow! This is cool. Someone's put some effort into this. So firstly, let me just show you. Someone sent me some pictures of some kind of camp setups and things. It says, Dear Mike and Graham, I'm Owen and I live in Wrexham, North Wales. I love your videos and especially the Bushcraft Camp Update series. I just started a YouTube channel. I was wondering if there were any tips to kickstart my channel. I'm trying to get permission to build a shelter in the woods, but I'm struggling. Any tips? Thank you for reading this letter. Owen Thomas, age 13. P.S. If you get an opportunity, please could you shout out my channel, Outdoors TT. Go and check him out, guys. Go and check out Owen's channel. Hit the subscribe button, Outdoors TT. We all had to start somewhere on YouTube. Go and give him a hand. And here he's put, I can't find permission to build a shelter in the woods yet, so I decided to bring the woods to me and build it in my back garden. That is a great idea. I recently watched your Camp Update 14 and was inspired to make my own wooden hammer and here it is. That is really good. You know what, that's probably better than the one I made to be fair. That's awesome, that's Owen's uh, wooden kind of mallet. And here is his camp setup that he's done in his garden. He's kind of brought some sticks, set up a tarp and brought that back home. That is awesome. That's what I want to see guys. That's what the, the channel is all about, is, is getting people just into this kind of thing, whether it's in your back garden or the woods or wherever. It doesn't matter. You can, you can learn the exact same skills in your back garden as you can in the middle of the wilderness. You can still learn those skills. Some of them might not be accessible, you know, things like fishing and things like that, and hunting, you might not be able to do in your back garden. But bushcraft skills and, and crafting projects like that mallet and spoon carving and everything like that, you can learn firelighting, you can learn that in your back garden. In fact, you'll get more practice in your back garden than you would in the woods, so. Owen, thank you. As for tips on starting your channel, um, be yourself. Don't try and be something that you're not. Uh, for permission, I'm guessing because you're UK, Wales, it's very hard to get permission to build uh, camps and things like that. Uh, if you can, 
try and go to farmers, local farmers and things like that. They ge generally, I say generally because not all of them do, but they generally will have either a small plot of woodland or a copse or something like that. And if you ask them, can I help practice, can I just practice some bushcraft and things in your woodland uh, in exchange I'll volunteer and I'll help out on your farm. I'm happy to volunteer and help for free. And that, that way you, you know, you're helping him and in return, or her, him or her is giving you permission to kind of camp on the land. I don't know, that's that's one way of doing it, guys. But Owen, thanks so much. Guys, go and check out his channel. We're nearly getting there, we've got a couple more. From Jeffrey Hancock in Roddickton, Canada. I'm guessing this is Canada, it says Canada Posts. So something all the way from Canada. Shout out to the Canadian fans. Newfoundland, oh, look at that, moose. That is one really good photo. It's a postcard. It says, hey there, Jeffrey Hancock is my name. Been watching your YouTube cabin videos for some time now. They're very interesting. Me and my wife, Maria, thought we would send you and your dad a little keepsake from Newfoundland to hang up in your cabin. Enjoy and take care. P.S. Uh, Jeffrey and Maria Hancock. Thanks so much. Again, it will be going on the wall up here with all these other postcards that I've been given. Ba -ba 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 -bum. I just need to remember the pins this time. That's so super kind of you. Let's put that with these ones, thank you. And in fact, while we're on the topic of, oh, something just, oh, wicked. We've got some flags, The new. I'm guessing this is the Newfoundland flag. Guys, is that, someone help me out, is that the Newfoundland flag or something? Kind of looks like Great Britain, I guess. But that's awesome, thanks so much. Thanks so much. I didn't realize they were in there. Postcards, I've got this one, North Carolina moonshine. That's a cool postcard. I like that. And this says, this is this is Jose again. Jose, you sent me like three or four postcards. He says he says here's one from North Carolina. Wish I had some moonshine today. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> That's awesome, Jose. He's he's literally travelling around America, I think, right now or something, and he's just sending me postcards as he goes. Jose, thanks so much, man. That's super cool. Oh yeah, survival paracord bracelet. Get in, I've got a couple of these now. This has got from the looks of it, a fire steel built, built in. Yeah, look, cheeky fire steel tucked in there like that. Okay, again, this is a huge letter, so I'm not gonna read all of it, but I have just finished reading it. I'm just gonna try and summarize it for you guys. This is from Jonathan Wood. And basically he's enclosed uh, a paracord. This is an SSO bracelet. And this is, remember I was saying it was too big? And the reason is, is because Jonathan says it goes over your clothing. Now that's clever. Jonathan is 13 years old, I think he says. Yeah, Jonathan is 13 years old and that's why he's made it a big one so it can go over the jacket. Uh, but that's super cool, thanks so much. He says whenever possible, him and his friend practice bushcraft in the woods. They're attempting to build their own bushcraft camp. He'd really appreciate it if I did some gear suggestion videos for low budgets, uh, things like knives and axes and things like that. That's a great idea, I might look at doing that. Your videos are great, hope you keep making them. I do have a YouTube channel, but there are no videos currently, I'm hoping to change that. It's called Wood Outdoor Bushcraft. Go and subscribe, guys, Wood Outdoor Bushcraft. It's so nice, and he just says it's so nice to have a British bushcrafter to uh, to look up to. And he says, PST all the way. Thanks, Jonathan. Scouting since 1907, tag light. And there's a, there's a tag there, which is super cool. I like that. I like that so much. He's going up in the cabin. I need some more hooks to hang things. Let's hang him up there. Nope, let's hang him. I need more hooks and nails. Dad, if you're watching, we need to get some more nails in here. Subscribers are sending so many gifts. Okay, it's there for now, it's there for now. Keep the letter, keep the paracord. Oh, 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 the exciting bits. Oh, cool, another postcard. Memphis, birthplace of rock and roll. Shout out to everybody in Memphis. And there's nothing on the back, but I didn't know Memphis was the birthplace of rock and roll. Bye. Mike, here is another postcard for your pallet cabin from Memphis, Tennessee, USA. Enjoy watching your videos. Keep up the great work, Joseph. Joseph, thanks so much. It's going with the other postcards over there, which will eventually get up on the wall. This is from Joe Jacobs. From another one from the US of A. And it is. Let's check. Sugar, sugar free Hawaiian punch. Add to bottled water. 
naturally and artificially flavored low calorie drink mix. So this is from Joe and he just says uh, he's 17 years old. He lives in Ray, is it Rayford? The reason I'm writing to you is I'm a big fan of your channel. The cabin you and your dad builded, built was nice and I liked it. I want to start a YouTube channel soon. So basically he goes on to say that he uh, does detailing for cars. When Joe does some uh, church work for charity, he's a volunteer and helps volunteer raise and raise money for people with cancer. That's really cool, Joe. So th thanks so much for that letter. It's quite long, but he also says he's got a pet bird, parakeet, I think. So Joe, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Dear Mike, enjoy, love your vids. This is from Jenny. Jenny, what is, oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh yeah, Jenny, 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 you know me well, we've got some beers, some pale ales, Lucky Jack, American Pale Ale, oh Piston Head, I like the Piston Head, I've had that one before, another Lucky Jack, Grapefruit Edition, another Piston Head, oh that's a cool uh, front cover, Beaver Town 8 Bull Rye IPA, I haven't had that one, and the last one is a Beaver Town Neck Oil Session IPA. Woohoo, Jenny! Uh, there's one more, and this is from my buddy, who sent me stuff before, but I didn't know he was sending me this. This is kind of a surprise. So this is from my buddy Brian at Journeyman Handcraft. He's made my axe sheath and everything like that. I'll pop a link in the description to, to uh, his stuff. Oh, he's, he makes some amazing stuff. Brian says, hi Mike, here we go again, this time with some of my canvas goods. I really look forward to hearing what you think of them. Many thanks, Brian. And that's Brian's uh, thing, Journeyman Handcraft. Go check him out. These are nice, look at that. Canvas, leather strap. This is like a possible's pouch. Really like that. Very well made, super well made. Brian, you are getting good at this, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes! It's a dump pouch. I saw these on Brian's um, website, on his, I think it's his Etsy, or his actual website. No, it was his website. And uh, this is so cool. I've wanted this for ages. This is good, great for now, for spring and autumn. So this is called a dump pouch. You, let me, basically, there we go. Ooh, you're gonna see my boxer pants. Okay. Dump pouch, nice and small. Look, takes up no space at all. I can walk around, just put my t-shirt over it. Looks like I got a bit of a wooden hip or something. Really. But uh, yeah, it just looks like that. Then when you see something you want to forage, mushrooms, uh, wild edibles, wild plants, natural tinders, or if it's autumn time, some nuts and things like that. You pop it open like that. This rolls down and look at the size of the dump pouch that you have on your hip to collect things. I mean, that is just awesome. And when you're not, you can put all your Tinder and everything in there. And when you're not, it's got a drawer cord as well. And when you're not using it, when it's empty, you fold it up, wrap it up like that. Put that over there, that over there. That is just too cool. Too cool, absolutely love that. Brian, guys, if you're interested in the dump pouch that Brian makes, Journeyman Handcraft, I'm gonna pop that, ex this exact kind of one. Hope, there'll probably be different colors, but I'll pop a link directly to that in the description below. And he's also given me another, what looks like kind of a coffee pouch, small pouch, that's a canvas drawstring, I think. You just tie it round simply. That's really nice, thanks so much. Now, Jax, someone has been very kind and given you Oh, you've got a tree! <laughs> Look at what you've got. Very kind subscriber. You're gonna wait, wait. You're gonna say thank you to them. Very kind subscribers giving you a doggy tree. Good boy. Go on. Good boy. <laughs> he wants to take. Guys, from me and Jax, thanks so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. And thank you for all your lovely gifts. You're very kind. I've got a bunch of, oh, you're dribbling all over my hand. Go out, that's disgusting. Um, I've got such cool subscribers, I really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone who sent those gifts and everyone who watches the channel. Um, and hopefully I'll see you next week in another adventure video. Oh guys, I forgot to say as well, uh, when I announced the G-Stove discount code, they actually sold, sold out of stoves completely. 
They're now back in stock. That's these stoves here, the little G stove heat view is this one, which has the glass, the damper. I've got the additional accessory of the oven, the stove pipe oven as well, which I use to cook those delicious fajitas. So they're back in stock. And if you guys want 15% off G stove products, like accessories and the stove and things like that, just use the code TA Outdoors on their website and it should get you guys 15%. It's an affiliate code as well, so it kind of helps the channel out uh, for me as well. So appreciate it if you use it. If you don't, absolutely fine. But it's there to, to help you guys out anyway. So remember that code. In addition, guys, I'm actually also going to be going to the Bushcraft Show this year up in Derbyshire in the UK. It's on the 26th to 28th of May, so the second bank holiday in May. I'm going to be camping there with my wife and uh, Emmy and Jax, the dog. I'm going to bring Jax with me. It's going to be a great show. There's loads of bushcraft experts there. There's courses that you can do there. All like-minded people. You can camp in the woodlands. You can camp in the fields. There's live music at night, bars, good food, everything like that. Uh, you can have campfires. It's going to be a really awesome show. So really hope I can see some of you guys there. Uh, to help you out as well, they're offering you a 15% discount on their tickets. So the, week, the camping tickets, all the day tickets, and you just use the code TAOutdoors15, and that will get you guys some discount on those tickets as well. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you soon.